Hi, this is Kathy from Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me this evening. I'm going to be doing a little project tonight that is perfectly suited for Easter and also perfectly suited for a novice chalker. Quick little um, project that can be simple or you could take it up an extra notch. We're going to do it simple and then I'll show you how to take it up a notch. I am going to be using these refills for our box frame. Um, the box frame comes with three refills or three inserts into them. Each of them are made from chalk, our chalk suede. It is kind of like on a, a stiffer cardboard or whatever. It's not like the chalk suede paper. This is the, the drop-in box. So this works fine in here, but you could also actually, if I find where I put it, here we go. Use one of these little stands. Oops, I put it in backwards. I should have known that. Use one of these stands instead of the drop-in box frame. So I love the drop-in box frame and I think it's great. It's one of my favorite surfaces, but you don't have to purchase the drop-in box frame. You could just get the refills and use it with one of those little stands. So lots of flexibility in this project. So I'm gonna hop right in. So I've got my little panel, one out of my three pack of um, refills. This transfer he has risen with the floral is now under our specials. It is 50% off, which makes it a great deal. And if you bundle that with our Transfer Palooza, buy three, get one free, it's even so much the better. So I'm gonna take it out of its little packaging and fuzz it, and then we'll jump right into this project. The only thing I could say, just kind of like with our board and base, watch, um, how things are seated. When this falls into the drop in frame, the bottom portion goes into a little slot at the bottom. And pretty much the same thing with this. So just allow for like maybe a half an inch or whatever. Don't ever position the transfer right at the bottom. So I'm gonna remove it from its little backer. Our transfers are made out of vinyl, which is the teal. And silk screen, and you're seeing through the silk screen to the white, which is the backer behind it. And normally there, you could just roll my fingers across it and lift it off the transfer. Okay, so I put this on my fuzzing cloth. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use a sweater or a towel or a pair of jeans. Basically, all you want to do is put a little bit of lint on the back of the transfer to diminish the stickiness. Our transfers are adhesive back, they're reusable 8 to 12 times or more, and because I'm going to be doing this on chalk suede, which is technically paper, yes you can use our transfers on paper, I want to fuzz it quite a bit because I don't want it to stick real snugly. Our transfers will stick more snugly, whoops, more snugly to glass, mirror, metal, our premium porcelain coated steel frame chalkboards, all of those are non-porous and extremely smooth and the transfers will stick more to them. So I'm gonna probably fuzz this like eight to 10 times to go on paper because when I lift it up, I don't want any issues lifting it. I don't want it to stick so snugly that I have a hard time lifting it up from the surface. I'm coming at you from the suburbs west of Chicago. Drop me a line. Let me know where you're viewing from. Don't be shy. So I've got this fuzzed. Like I said, quite a few times, I'm going to center it. Just kind of eyeball it. Oh, I could bring this down a little bit. I had it kind of a little bit higher than I needed to be. And that looks good. And then when I lay it down, I want to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles in it. Well, I'm going to lift it up a little bit high, higher. Whoops. It's already sticking pretty snugly. You know what? 
needs a little bit more fuzzing. You always want to fuzz on the teary portion of the, of the fuzzing cloth. So let me fuzz this a little bit more because I don't want it sticking so hard that I can't get it off my paper, right? I think one of the difficult, most difficult things to chalk on is glass, but it's actually beautiful. When you do something on glass, all you have to do is fuzz it enough so that it's not an issue lifting it off. Okay, let's try this again. I want to allow for that space at the bottom. It was a little bit too much space. Okay, I think this will work fine. And I want to just smooth it out, make sure there aren't any air bubbles under the transfer. I've got air bubbles right here. I'm going to lift it. Oops. I don't like lifting from a corner like that and smooth it back down. If your transfer is not snug on the surface, if there's an air bubble, your paste might go through um, and smear it. It won't have a, a nice crisp look to it. And I am going to just do this whole thing in gold shimmer, at least to begin with. And let me see if I've got a, no, I don't have a stir stick here. Okay, I'm just grabbing some of my gold shimmer of course seems thick, right? Of course. Um, let me thin it down with a little bit of water. And I'm going to use my little multi-tool to come in here and clean this up a little bit. Just make it a little bit thinner. Our shimmers are very similar to our regular paste. The only difference is they give a little shimmer. Not quite like um, glitter. And they're not gritty like glitter would be, but they give a little shimmer and shine when the light hits them. And the only thing is they take a little bit longer to dry than our regular paste. Our regular paste take about five minutes. The shimmers take about eight. So both types of paste go on liquid and dry to a hard finish, a hard dry finish. Oh, I really made a glumpy mess of this, didn't I? I should have done this before I started. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was that thick. If your paste dries out a little bit, just add some distilled water and thin it down. If it gets too thin, leave the cover off, stir it a little bit, and um, until it thickens up a little bit more to the right consistency. That's all there really is to it. So I'm going over this entire transfer with my gold shimmer. I want to make sure that I don't get any shimmer paste on my fingers, though, when I touch the, the transfer, be a little careful of that. And with the shimmers, I go over just a little bit more to make sure that it's gone through the silk screen really well. Like I said, it doesn't feel thick or bumpy or anything, but I just wanna make sure that I've got really good coverage. Okay. Smooth it out, remove any lines, and put the excess back into the jar, as simple as that. I'm going to lift this transfer because I have a little bit of a problem with my fingernails. I'm just going to take the edge of my detail tool and oops, hopefully lift this up, right? Oh, I just need to gain purchase somewhere to lift it. Let's try this end. Don't want to lift on the corners. I could lift a little bit on the corner, but when I go to actually pull it up. I would definitely want to be the top, the bottom, or one of the sides. I don't want to pull and stretch by pulling it on the diagonal. Okay, well this is stick, sticking pretty snugly. Okay, just lift it slowly, take your time. There. Now this is basically called a one and done one color over this whole surface and that's it and honestly this is beautiful as it is i got a little speckle there i don't think i want to touch it it might be paste it might just be a piece of fuzz but look at how quick that was how easy it was and how beautiful the clarity is if you're looking for a little diy home decor that's simple and easy to make 
here you go. How simple and easy was that? Now this is a one and done. We're going to kick it up a notch. Just I'm going to set this aside to dry for a few minutes, about eight minutes or so, to get it totally dry. You can use um, our quick dry tool or a hair dryer. Do not use a heat gun. It's way too hot, and you don't want to burn it. So just put it aside to dry, and um, in the meantime, I'm going to clean up my surface and get ready to kick it up a notch by using watercolor. Yes, we're going to watercolor this a little bit and take it to the next level. And I was trying to decide on what color paste that I wanted to use. And yes, you can watercolor and you can paint with our paste. All you need to do is dilute the paste with distilled water. You always want to use distilled water because you don't want any reactions between minerals in your water and the pigment of the paste. Dilute it to the proper consistency and you're good to go. Just getting the correct brush. I'm thinning down a little bit of the paste with distilled water. Always use distilled water. You don't want any interactions between the minerals in tap water and the pigment of your paste. And then I'm going to use some of uh, the peony for the flowers and then a bit of green for the leaves and just give it a very light water coloring. You could add as much as you want, lighten and darken in the areas that you want. I just wouldn't let the water puddle on the surface. If so, just hit it with a, with a hair dryer or a heat dryer or lift some off with a, a dry brush. a little wide but I could try it we'll see so anyway I'm not really taking much paste I'm going to use whatever's in the lid and just water that down a little bit and see how it goes if I need a little bit more I'll just add it to it okay this I probably overdid it on the water here it's one way of cleaning the lids of your jars so I've gotten both paste thin down to watercolor with I'm just going to move them out of the way Make sure, sure my surface is clean because I don't want to accidentally get any paste on the opposite side of that insert because double-sided, I could use the other side for a different image. And it looks like it's dry. So I'm gonna take a thin brush and just start putting a little bit of color in between the outline on my surface. And I'm going to try not to go over the outline. If I do, then I'm going to have to put the transfer back over it and refresh the outline by chalking it again with the gold. But no worries, it's easy enough to do. But I'm going to try not needing to do that step. We'll see how this goes. This is on a chalk suede, this um, surface is called chalk suede, and it's a kind of paper product that the company developed that actually feels like suede. It just, it, if you had your eyes closed and you rubbed your hand across it, you'd think you were running it across suede. So it's even nice for scrapbooking if you're a scrapbooker. We now have it in 12 by 12 sheets before it was only available in like um, a little card and envelope set. But now it's, it's part of this, um, the drop in box frame and also is 12 by 12 inch sheets. I went a little heavy there with my paste more than I intended to. Let's see if I could thin it down in a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
And obviously you could use different colors. I chose the pink, pink peony. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I can also do is use my little quick dry tool to come in here and dry some of this up. If you've got a little bit of water, you could do that or with the hair dryer and just kind of soak it up. I'm trying to grab it with a brush and just kind of blend it. The paper does absorb the water pretty quickly. And from what I've seen, I don't have any buckling or anything of it. So I think it works pretty well. Just want to give it a little hint of color in some areas. And grab a little bit more. There's really so much you can do, and it really, I, I find um, the water coloring to be very, almost therapeutic. It feels to me like, like coloring. So you're a fan of color, adult coloring books. Mm -hmm. This might be something that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just kind of give it a light touch. I don't want anything real striking here. I think these are lilies. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And have I gotten all the blossoms? I think I have. I'm going to wash this thinner bristled brush because the other one's a little bit too thick for actually doing the leaves. Kind of get that out of the way. And just go in here and start coloring the leaves in. If you're a fan of adult coloring books, I think you'll really enjoy watercoloring. I find this very soothing and very relaxing and peaceful. And just take it at whatever pace you want to. This is a rather small project. The transfer is about five by seven or so. So it's something quick and easy to work on without a lot of muss and fuss, without a lot of extra supplies or anything. It really is quite simple. I always say that if you could butter toast, you can chalk, and really, it really is that simple. Now, this is a little bit more involved of a design, obviously. There's some close watercoloring in here, not too close. I don't have a very steady hand, so seriously, if I could do it, most likely you can too. And I was only going to give a hint of color, and I've, I've actually been coloring in it a little bit. Now, I just went out of the line. I've been go, doing very well watercoloring within the lines. So I'm going to try and remove that. Our chalk suede will allow you to remove um, the paste if you do it rather quickly. So I've got a little bit of a paper towel here that I'm just kind of trying to wipe it up. And it did fairly well, but it removed a little bit of the gold paste. So I might just lay the transfer back down when I'm done and add another layer of gold. Now you can add, um, lay the transfer down, align it, and add the gold again to actually define the outline if you want. Or you can do that even if you just want a heavier layer of the gold, like a double layer to make it stand out or give it a little bit more dimension. It's slight, but it does make a, a very, it's, it's noticeable. A noticeable difference so it all it makes it look a little bit nicer if you choose to do that we're actually looking at less than a half hour now I do have to do a little bit of cleanup clean up my transfers clean up my board whatever our chalk paste is water sol soluble so it does make cleanup very easy any questions drop them in the comments So just a little bit of color, pretty simple, pretty easy. Fits fine in this little mini board and base. 
or let me take my image out of my drop in. Now the drop in will hold three of these cards. How simple and easy was that? Thank you for watching tonight. I am going to be putting a bundle together using this transfer. Um, maybe two bundles, maybe one with the drop-in and one with just the drop-in refills. Um, if you are in my VIP group, you will be privy to that bundle. If you are not in my VIP group and would like to be, just comment VIP below and I will send you the link. Everyone is um, welcome in my VIP group. There's no obligation whatsoever. Um, it is just not open to other designers as per company policy. So if that's something you might want to check out or think about, just comment VIP and I will send you the link. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'll see you soon.